Hey everyone, John here from Boris FX, and I just wanted to share with you a productivity tip that I've been using recently in After Effects, and it uses one of the recently introduced 3D features, but not for 3D. Let me show you what I mean. When I'm doing graphics, often I'll receive two versions of the graphics, one without any text, on which I'm going to lay my text in After Effects, and one with text, which I use as a guide. Now, up until recently, I'd been just scaling the guide down, just moving it you know, slightly out of the way, and just making it a guide layer by right clicking and choosing guide layer. And that way, as a guide layer, it won't render. But of course, the limitation with that is it's on top of your shot. Well, check this out. So I'm just gonna undo that, and I'm gonna leave that at full size. I'm gonna move it across to the right, and of course, when I do that, you can't see the shot anymore. You can only see the selected outline. But if we make this layer 3D and turn on Draft 3D and then click on Extended Viewer, check this out. Now we can see the footage. So the Extended Viewer is designed for when you're working in Draft 3D. But even when you're not working in 3D, you can use it to place your shot outside the viewable area and work more effectively. Because not only can we see the guide layer side by side at the full size, we're no longer covering the shot that we're working on. All right, so hopefully you find that as useful as I do. For now, this is John from Boris Effects. I'll see you in another tip.